Good day and welcome. You're having a great day. Happy Monday. Easter Monday. You know. You had the day off. If not, hope you had an okay day. Playing Disney Dreamlight Valley, as you can see, if you haven't figured that out from the name on the screen and title of the stream and all. Grinding out that balloon arch. Actually, uh, popped it up a couple hours ago, too. Stephanie, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. That over it just a bit so I can read that easier, right? Ah, much better. So, so there's that over here. Get some eggs. Got as many of these eggs as we can, eh? Eggs are delicious. You know the eggs are still in there. They seem to be, yes. Wonder how long they're gonna be in there. There's a chance they could have been gone, but they weren't, so. I was trying to wrap things up, build those things in the um, Easter section. Very fortunate. This balloon arch one is pretty intense, man. If you're not collecting these black flowers from here like non-stop Stephanie, you gotta start because they usually only come up a couple every couple hours kind of thing. You know, so I mean depends on how many you have, but a lot of collecting. Only a couple flowers even up here right now. Yes, indeedy. All right, we're good there. This, uh, this area has been explored for now. I only got one duty left. Oh. Do that. I don't like these things here. I can dig that up. More random loose eggs anywhere, eh? I'm not where you are. My part is a blizzard. Well, I mean, you could still collect stuff inside the blizzard, I think. But... Whenever you get a chance, once you do get into that uh, frozen area, those black flowers are everything. If you don't collect that stuff, you'll have trouble with uh, other things in the future. Those events, anyway. Timothy was saying he's frustrated because what he wound up doing is... He used some of his, um, he's used some of his moons on these tokens, right? On last time. And now he didn't have enough to make it the advanced thing. So he only unlocked unlock three of these at a time. Did I have for dinner? I had some Rice Krispie squares. That's it. That's all I had for dinner. They were very satisfying Rice Krispie squares. Go down to a village. There's some things you got to do. Add rooms to house. Ah. Uh. 
house is right here, eh? My house, I haven't really decorated it much since the beginning, to be honest. Hey, Caesar. For liking, sharing. I guess we can add rooms there. What's that? I did have a good lunch. Put some pictures of my lunch in the, um, the Discord. I want more rooms. Misty, thank you for liking. Do anything? Nine out of ten. Wants me to add all the rooms, eh? to spend money, I guess, eh? Fifteen out of fifteen. I wonder how many. Well, it's twenty-five now. That's like ten more floors. How much money I have? So that would be four more rooms, I guess.
Good turkey and scalloped potatoes in a bean dish. Nice. And Misty had leftover ham, squash, sweet potatoes, and garlic potatoes. Nice. Sounds all sounds pretty good. Didn't expand this one. I don't know what we have like a skyscraper going here, eh? So four more rooms they want. It'll be another level or something. I got 10 floors. Ten floors of emptiness. No doubt, eh? Can you imagine the heating bill? Cleaning bill, too. Yeah, that probably has a good cleaning bill, too, eh? That's all they wanted. Gotta grow more eggs. I'll build one more egg thing. An air conditioner. Yeah, it's got the all bills, although the weather's pretty good in this area. Good thing I'm not up in Frosted Heights, eh? Probably flying the lion. Go on. Harvest the uh, pumpkins. Hey there. I'm up to level seven. That'll be a new mission. Collecting eggs and black flowers from the frosted area. You not follow me? There he is. I don't know. 
Oh, now he decided to do that. It just took him a minute. Had me questioning my... Green flowers? Get them off, they're good. Yeah, you know, remember we were talking about the uh, Budweiser and you know, like, people on the right want to ban it because there was, like, a, a transgender person as a representative. Go infinity. It's like Budweiser, like Anheuser-Busch, actually had the, the highest stock value it's ever had because all these people on TikTok and all this stuff are... Or, you know, promoting how you should be angry and boycotting, but, you know, it's like the best viral marketing campaign that uh, Budweiser could have had, because, I mean, that's putting the name, yeah, I never heard people talking about it so much. Whoever thought of that was brilliant, you know, because these companies don't really care about rights they care about money right you know maybe care a little bit about rights but it's uh interesting um the other one that also had that same guy uh or girl i guess um as a representative budweiser did that the guys are all mad about uh, their stock is really up too. That's kind of funny, you know. You gotta gotta wonder sometimes, you know, like a lot of this stuff comes from Fox and whatever, you know. But uh, you gotta wonder if you know they're buying a bunch of stock before they, um, uh, you know, put the hate on these companies, you know? Because, man, if you would have bought some stock before this... That. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. I was looking at the stock prices and stuff today. Outrage marketing. That's what they're doing. There's TikToks of people throwing their beer in the garbage and TikToks of people uh, running over their beer with a steamroller and I mean it's just advertising like mad, you know. Some people don't even realize what it's about, I'm sure, and some people it as being oh this is a good company and they buy extra beer because they're you know when you go to the store and you think about what what thing you want to buy next you know the their brand name comes it's, it's at the back of your head it's planted there just been everywhere you know That's how that advertising works I thought that was interesting. Anyway, you know, I'm not a huge Bud fan, but uh, I had some when I was in New Orleans because darned if you could find any Canadian beer there.
So like quite different. Canadian beer has a lot more alcohol content in it. Bud's okay. Not the best beer. I had some Corona as well when I was down in New Orleans. I think they're part of Anheuser Busch too. Anyway, it was interesting to see the outrage machines at work, you know. Jenny, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Timothy for sharing and liking and Misty for sharing and sharing and liking these earlier as well. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. See the stock just soaring as a result, you know. You know, if you want, you know, if you're gaining something, whatever, you know. But if you're gaining something, the worst thing you can do is publicize, you know, overboard and publicizing it because, uh, you know, it's, it just gives it promotion. Same thing happened with that uh, Harry Potter game, man. People went nuts on the internet and just advertised the crap out of it. And that's, uh, you know, it's everybody's choice what they want to play and they want to drink. But it's funny, you know, that a lot of these people's doing these boycotts, you know, because they're phobic um, of the representative. Um. don't even realize how much they're promoting it. They still do with it. You gotta wonder too, you know, if the people, person, you know, throwing his beer in the garbage, it just dig, dug it right out after the video too. You have a question? Nike's doing really well too now, by the way. Also, all these stocks, all these stocks that are supposedly stuff that people boycotted and canceled. Now it mods and secrets. Where's the little stand? We gotta check the stand out and buy some pumpkins. How's it going? Sell some first, though. Room. These two fish, too. Buy. Buy more. Whoa -ho! Buy fifty K. Pumpkin seed. That's what Timothy likes to see. I saw him here in the stream there. Works for me. Favorite part when you buy pumpkin seeds. Donald. When it says you have to decorate Glade with trust, place 10 pieces of furniture. 
How do you put furniture outside? Just you go to press Y, you go to furniture. Pick whatever furniture you want. If it's grayed out, can't place it outside. So all these things are placeable. Literally, you can put down like 10 of anything and you could even pick it up after. So say I want to put this sewing table down. That's a piece of furniture. Press B. Press B again. B again. Or well, whatever it is on Nintendo Switch. Far right button. And I got a table. And if you don't want your furniture thereafter, you know, you go back to furniture, press Y, and you can just highlight it by pressing A and press uh, X to remove it. And also, if you want to do paths and stuff like that, you can too, right? You go down to landscaping, you have to build the paths first, you know, or the uh, items. You can throw extra trees down, you can pick up trees. Um, but for paths, you have to go to your workbench and build them, and then once you've built them, they'll be on this, this menu. That's how you place everything, you know? Like, if you go in to the, uh, events thing here, and you earn yourself, uh, the, the rides. You know, like, uh... Here's the Mickey uh, go round, uh, the merry go round, or whatever it is. Or you earn that, then you just go into your furniture menu and same thing on that list, and then you just place it down, right? So I placed, you know, this ride down, teacups, and the thing. Same as placing houses, right? Same idea. And, you know, like I said, you don't have to keep the furniture down for those quests. I just plop 10 things down, exit it out, and then it's like satisfied. Then I pick them right back up again because I didn't want to junk up my area because I hadn't decided what to do yet. Oh, the valley is coming along. What you did? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of... Once you just place down random things, you know. Not much of a quest, really. And I'm leveling up my guy by making sure I follow him or have him follow me while I'm doing stuff. So I'll get him up faster, leveled up. Pull down A to harvest and he'll poop out a bunch of pumpkins for me. He's a gardener. I make most of them gardeners. Do a couple rows so that I don't have to wind up picking up them with A after, you know? If be too long, then they force you to pick them up. Get out of the way then if you're gonna be there. Crap. Paper root. Oh, 
Oh crap. Yeah. Turned off a different direction there. My guy has the best gardening outfit. It's like a tuxedo. I hope Max is doing okay without me. Max. Somebody on the internet I saw tried putting their companion, like having their follower, um, gardener guy, trap them inside a fence structure, and uh, then they, when they went back to discover them, they just popped out all the pumpkins, and then there was like pumpkins like everywhere. It made such a crazy mess for them that cost them a lot of time to pick up all the pumpkins because they manually made you pick them all up too. You didn't contain them within fenced area. Yeah, I'd thank you for liking Kenny earlier as well. <clears throat> you a lot of extra pumpkins if you have a guy following you that is a gardener. Can I show you how to sneak up to a gator? Yeah, make sure you get a lobster. Um, I just got to finish planting my garden here though. They eat lobsters, that's their thing. Hey, Yod. Love some pumpkin seeds? Pumpkin seeds are good, eh? They have lobster, good. But yeah, they were kind of similar to the raccoon and fox and stuff, I think. Where you have to kind of, when their head is up, you can't move. And then you, when they put their head down for half a second, you take like one step forward. Maverick Zed has liked. Thank you for liking Maverick Zed. Yeah, I had some delicious burger and uh, nachos. I put pictures in the uh, Discord. I haven't seen it for anybody in the Discord. That burger. Oh, good. Crispy. Blue cheese on it. Crispy chicken. Add some heat to it.
posted on Instagram. No. If you haven't been looking at my YouTube, by the way, you're missing out on some videos. Some of those uh, uh, New Orleans ones haven't been posting there on Facebook. Instagram is a pain in the butt to post to because uh, it doesn't let you do it from the computer as easily. I can't post it on Facebook Reels. I've been posting them on Facebook Reels and it hasn't posted there in four days. So I submitted a ticket support, but I mean, they're going to probably take a while. They to figure out what's going on. So I'm just posting them on YouTube. Excess Gaming, thank you for liking. There we go. Oh, not quite Timothy's favorite number. Yes, though. Dude, you're standing on my plant. BRB I'm missing some text No, you don't have to go instantly to it You pee on your plant. I don't know if you can even pee in your house, to be honest. I don't th think there's a lot of a lot of body functions on a game like this. Not a lot of body functions in video games in general. Well, the answer would be no. It's not the Sims. Sims has bathroom stuff. What other games? Um, Ark. Ark was pretty famous for bathroom functions. You could poop and then you can use it for compost. Oh yeah, uh, Stephanie wanted me to show her about the gator. I'll just go do a quick round around the uh, ice place here. What I mean by my, I don't know, it seems pretty self explanatory. Either like them or you don't. Too, looks like it might be interesting. There we go. We picked those flowers. Now we can go and 
Oh, Stephanie, that thing she wanted to see. Uh, balloon, what does balloon arches mean? It's an arch made out of balloons. Here's one right here. See? It's an arch. Like McDonald's is double arches. You probably understand that because you love McDonald's. I need a lobster if I'm going to do this right. That's here. Right, like Get a second, I'm going to grab a lobster. Hopefully Stephanie's watching. Um, so we gotta go to the swamp, obviously. This particular thing. We gotta spot an alligator. Alright, see the alligator there? Gotta get relatively close to him to start. Then he'll start looking around. Then he puts his head down. Step forward when his head's down. It's like that red light, green light. Oh, I did it too far. See how he's kind of looking left and right, and then he puts his head down? He's looking left and right. You gotta not move. Oh, I did it when he was moving. I know where he went. I gotta find a different one, I guess. So essentially it's like red light, green light. When he's looking left and right, can't move. It'll kind of stand up a bit when you're close enough. See? Left, right, head down, move forward, one step basically. Head down, move forward. And I moved a little bit when he was head up, so he moved away. And when you're close enough, you hit A for approach. Then you give him your lobster. Yeah, the raccoons are the same idea. Foxes, too. Except, of course, you give them different food. Uh, foxes, you give them a white sturgeon and uh, raccoons, you give blueberries. Alright, let's see what this guy wants anyway. Oof. 
You can all day with lobsters? I had some crawfish when I was in New Orleans. That's like a, a lobster crossed with a shrimp inside a it's a river thing. All right. can eat lobsters. Oh, I thought you were talking about I... having having uh, fun with them or something. Lay, put your finger there, get to bite your finger with their claw. Oh, hello. Here's the conversation with Maverick. I give him a description of what a crawfish is, and then the first thing he says is, what's crawfish? Mm -hmm. Good uh. job. Lobster's good, but expensive. Also, don't get much from them. It depends where you are, too, eh? Like, uh... <laughs> you know, like, if you live... On the coast down east, uh, I heard they're a lot more economical because they're like uh, they're pretty abundant there. But I don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard anyway. Compared to like west coast, where they're not as abundant, at least the thing in the mine, eh? Um, I don't know how they are in the Philippines. They might be more abundant there, too. If uh, Maverick says that he can eat them all day. Diego, thank you for liking. You know, because uh, yeah, I couldn't eat lobster all day. They're too freaking expensive, man. Where's the west coast? That's uh, the west coast of North America, so like where I am. Oh, it is expensive there? California counts as the west coast as well. Find the secret entrance. Yeah, you know, Vegas is getting rid of most of their buffets, eh? They're putting all those food halls in there now. But you missed your opportunity to... Like, three, buff three big buffets left on the strip now. Your opportunity to take care of the biz on buffets. Yes, it does. I'm on the east. Are you far from uh, New Orleans, Misty? That was quite the plane ride from here, I tell you. Holy man. I flew from 10 in the morning, uh, Pacific time. I was, of course, at the airport at uh, basically seven, and then uh, and then I um, 
Got there at three in the morning, at hotel. You can see my hotel if you look on the YouTube video later. Posted the room tour. Look at this room, eh? Why so far? Because it's a big country we're in. My province is bigger than the Philippines. A bit like the couple of the Philippines in the, in my province. Did I stay alone in a hotel? Yes, I did. Yeah, they don't make you share a room. That could cause, you know, cause problems, right? I guess we gotta get out of here now. Just told you the reason. What happens if the person that you got bunked with wants to party all day and all night, you know, and you're trying to you know, learn for work? Well, I mean, expensive is a relative term, isn't it? it isn't cheap, that's for sure. Flying across the whole country. In a uh, hotel. Don't know if you could trust. Yeah, they could steal your stuff. You don't, you know, who knows, right? Oh, if I got bunked with you, you'd probably try to steal my stuff. Yeah, they could wreck the hotel room, although I would get charged to the company. Well, sometimes they make you put down your own credit card. I don't know what the rate is. I didn't pay for it. What do you mean bunkmate? What do you think of a dictionary or what? Um, you know, the person that you share the room with. You know, like bunk beds or whatever is the those people use. Actually, I do have an idea of how much it costs, but you know, it's not really. You can look up the hotel yourself if you really want to, and see what their current rates are. But it's different all the time, and when a company orders it. They get a deal probably right so because they're ordering a whole pile of rooms why not call the roommate i don't know i just happen to use bunk mate as as the term superb <laughs> Uh, we need an empty vial. Okay, I can do that. Two empty vials. You can get a room with two beds, so whoever is taking the second bed. Yeah, but they don't put they don't put anybody together. I mean, like if you know, if you if you. Uh, like the one person brought their daughter along with them. They, you know, the company didn't pay for the daughter, but you know, the daughter was able to stay in the in the room with them, of course.
Mine only had one bed. It was a king, king size bed. You can see what the room looks like. In the YouTube video later if you want. Pretty nice. You can see my Las Vegas room in there too, actually, when I stayed in Vegas. There's a lot about this valley that reminds me of home. Oh, I got a potion potions. Growth and dust. Why king size? I don't know. That's what they booked. There have been times they gave me and your husband two bedrooms. The, uh, this was a pretty sweet room, though. It was like had a dishwasher and fridge and everything. There we go. It was pretty nice, nice relaxing to stay there. A good seemed like a good nice room. Yeah, it was a sweet. I got lucky there. Not everybody had had a, had that sort of thing. They just rented a block of rooms and handed them out. Did I cook? No. Wow, you're a really good leader for this. All party. the meals. All the meals were eaten out or supplied at the thing I was at. There was no, like the, the hotel had a breakfast that they cooked for everybody. Oops, wrong way. Did I wash my clothes? No. I ain't paying no hotel to wash my clothes. Most of ours here have fridge and microwaving room. Yeah, it was like that, I think. I don't remember where that was now. Left here. Three meals. Yeah. Yeah, you could have a waffle and eggs and bacon and all sorts of things. Do I any rats? Crap, man, this guy's trapped me in here. Wait. Hey. You mean do I any rats? Did I see any rats? No, I didn't. What kind of hotels do you have? the room I was looking for. Uh, hotels, you don't, maybe, 
really run down ones. Yeah, you have to get pretty thick out of a CD hotel for that. Do you ever stayed at a hotel, Maverick? What kind of hotels did you stay at? Did you see rats when you were in a hotel? Hey! Uh huh. I've been lucky. Any hotel I've ever stayed at never had any any rats or bed bugs or anything like that. Even that place when I was coming back uh, the hotel wasn't great when I stayed at on the way back from Vegas I stayed at a uh, accent Inn. that hotel was still still no rats or bugs Well, one thing that was really cool about in New Orleans, the architecture of everything. Really cool. Buildings, the brick and all that stuff. Everything's made out of brick there. Where a lot of it was. I don't know how long that tree takes to grow. Put it and put it where it's too, too much in the way. I think Maverick ran out of question. Which hotel? What are you talking about now? I'm saying, did you stay at a hotel? Being brave doesn't mean looking for trouble. Oh, the one on the way back from Calgary? It was like an accent in it was called. It was actually more expensive than the other hotels I stayed at. Even the Vegas hotel. It's just, you know, the problem with they could charge a lot because, you know, it's in a touristy snowmobile in kind of area. Um, you know, in between here and there kind of thing. And uh, so there's not really much choice. And it was like high, high snowmobile season. So, uh, so they charged a lot. Good amount for their some people are accommodations there. The place was like almost like 200, 200 bucks or something like that. It was kind of I don't know. It wasn't great. I wouldn't stay there again. Although they did have a nice breakfast. That the breakfast included. I stayed in a five-star hotel. I don't know if I have or not. 
Maybe. I don't really know. I stayed at a full kitchen keep one for three days in Vegas. I wasn't impressed with it. Um, I mean, if you look at the room I had in Planet Hollywood on my YouTube, I thought that was pretty nice. I did the $20 trick there. Where you, you know, you, you slip a 20 between your uh, credit card and your, um, ID when you check in and you ask them for a nice view and boy they gave me a nice view I read about that or saw that on some Vegas uh, YouTube video to do that easily there this room was nice too I mean they're different this one was different than um What's a nice view you like? Well, I mean, you know, it had a pic, it had like the uh, the strip. You could see, you know, New York, New York off in the distance. Uh, I think Aria and a few different. You know, that's what that's what's considered a nice view. You're not looking out at a parking lot, you know, or the top of a building or something like that. You know, so I got to see there's the pool and a bunch of the hotels and stuff like that. Hey there. Definitely it was an upgrade from what I actually booked. Ocean, even mountains is a nice view, yeah. And depends where you are too, you know. But strip strip is considered a nice view in Vegas. You have to look at the sign and all the electronic signs and stuff like that they have. Cause there's some 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 rooms you get where it's just looking at the side of a building or a parking lot or a roof with a big air conditioner unit or something. The view in New Orleans was uh, kind of overlooking the pool that they had and uh, it wasn't like a super view but it wasn't bad. I guess it was okay view. I mean probably depends on what you want to look at. from the market just come see me Ruby didn't want to sit by me yeah if you're down in Mexico or whatever you'd want to be so see the view of the scenery. ocean something interesting to look at is essentially what you want I don't think Maverick actually answered the question if, if he's ever stayed at a hotel, though. How many hotels? I've stayed at lots of hotels.
Yeah, is it a minute? Yeah. You've never stayed at a hotel because it's expensive here? Expense is always is kind of relative, though. You know, hotels aren't cheap here by any stretch of the imagination. You know? You know, definitely you get a better deal paying your rent or your mortgage, you know, the... Uh, No, you wouldn't want to stay at a hotel your whole month. Farmer, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. But I mean, you may have had to go somewhere and then had to stay at a hotel, right? So it doesn't matter how expensive it is if you have to be somewhere. You know, like I've gone to Seattle to concerts and so forth and... Not uh, like I can drive home after, you know, I like five, six hours to drive to Seattle. Never been traveling, eh? You keep saying how badly you want to fly. You probably hate it flying all the way to Canada. Hotel for a week near you is four fifty. That's not bad actually. Yeah, there's some hotels that are, you know, like I think the Vegas hotel is over over two hundred a night. Once you add in there. Um hotel fees and all that crap. They have those those fees that get you Taxes for all that stuff, all these taxes and stuff add up. Like I said, that that hotel, that Accent Inn, was like three hundred bucks or something stupid. Once all was said and done, right? And it wasn't even worth half of that. Hard to find a hotel for, uh, you know, under a hundred dollars these days. That's, you know, it's not like a dive, you know. Sometimes you can, but it's getting tougher. Pandemic really drove up the prices of everything. We have to stop Ursula from taking control of this valley. Hotel next to me was 300 a night. Yeah. One thing I really like is when the hotel has breakfast included, because then you don't have to... ...to pay. I also, like, before the pandemic, when I was supposed to go to Orlando, it was like, uh... I looked into the price of the Disney hotels. That was like 250 300 a night, too. Even worse for us Canadians, too, Misty, because... When you say 300 a night, that means like 370 Canadian, right? Something like that. Look at this dreamlight tree, make sure it's still going. You want, they don't have a buffet as much at these days anymore, but a lot of them will do breakfast. You know, like a continental breakfast from 7... Usually it starts at 6 in the morning goes to about 10 in the morning. And then you can have as much eggs and bacon and waffles and stuff like that that you want to make. You gotta, you gotta pour the dough, the batter, onto the waffle iron and cook it.
eggs are all prepared, you just scoop it onto your plate, you know. I had like a waffle, you know, and some bacon and eggs and stuff usually when I was at the thing. As early as 5 a.m. It might have been 5 a.m. That uh, Accent Inn had the breakfast, I think, started at 5 a.m., but kind of, uh... Um... Didn't do me any good to get up that early because I sat at an avalanche gate for four hours. Can you take your food in your room if you want to, I guess? They can... Uh, when you have a continental breakfast, you can grab a to, uh, to go thing, I think. They don't want you taking your plate there, though. You know, some people grab something for the road, right? You hoard the food in your room? Um, yeah, I guess it depends if you have a fridge in the, in your room. I mean, ultimately, if you got, you know, if you're kind of a pig and grabbed a bunch of crap and, uh, you know, just so that you'd be eating all day, you know, they might charge you extra or kick you out or something like that. You know, there's some some etiquette there. Not sure how much they'd care, to be honest. Probably depends on the place. You're at the dentist. You came home, then vacuumed the car. Nice. I don't know. Maybe Misty Ann might know that one. What they do if Maverick went to a hotel, packed up a bag of food. I mean, other people got to eat too, right? They got to, you know, you want to be considerate and let let other people have food too, you know. If you're there loading up a garbage bag full of food. I mean, you know, you want to grab what you can eat and then either eat it there or go home or go to your room and eat it, I guess. I don't think the, I don't think they you know books are the appreciate if people uh, I wonder what this book is. try to load up for their full vacation. But I mean, they have breakfast there every day. Don't forget, you also got to leave your room at eleven in the morning if you didn't pay for multiple days. Sometimes even ten. How much are room, hotel rooms typically in Australia, Esta? Get hard if you stay a few days and go buy food? Yeah, I don't think they're going to be too worried if you grab an apple or... You know, a little bit extra food, but if it looks like you're feeding other people, then hotels usually want more money. You know, because you don't claim those people, you're supposed to pay for them.
Yeah, we can go buy some fabric. Hey, hey, good morning, partner. You take home the towels. If you want to buy them, you can. They don't give them to you for free. They know they know how many you have in your room, and then they charge you if there's anything missing. My hubby and I would stay a few days, go food shopping, lunch, breakfast, dinner. What can be microwaved and eat in the room on less special occasion than eat out? Yeah, I think a lot of people do that. You know, there's also Maverick. In some hotels, they have what's called a bar fridge. So there's a bunch of drinks, like alcohol and candy and snacks and... Um, pop and whatever. There's a bunch of treats, essentially in this bar fridges and if you take something out of there even if you put it back at some hotels you'll get charged for that and it's like you know about five times the price of buying it in a grocery store so kind of depends on the hotel but if you ever wind up staying at some place that has a bar fridge don't touch nothing in there unless you want to pay for it because, like I said, that even if you take it out and you put it back in, some places have sensors and that's how it logs it. And then they charge your credit card when you leave. Some hotels will give you complimentary robes. Yeah, that's true. Some depends on the hotel. Most hotels don't want you stealing all their towels, though. And the complimentary rope places are probably have it into the it kind of worked into their price, so it's usually not a cheap place. Yeah, charge. They also charge you for calls and renting movies. That's true. Oh, if you load up and watch pornos the whole time, Maverick, it's about. I don't know, 10 or 15 bucks a movie, I think. Actually, I, I, I think the regular movies are getting up there too. They're like uh, six or seven bucks too. You watch, I watched a lot of Shark Tank when I was watching TV because they there's like four channels of nothing on mostly. At least when I was there. Yes, can't buy any fabric. I might have to make some. How close I am for that basket. Shark Tank is a TV show where they uh, they get people to they they want a loan or or whatever X amount of dollars invested in their business. Um, in exchange for something, you know, basically. And then they have these rich dudes like uh, Mark Cuban and Mr. Wonderful and all these other guys, um, you know, hearing them out. And then if they decide to invest in them, then they they can profit from that business. Basically, they, have, they you know they have all these different businesses doing pitches all the time, and then the sharks can decide whether they want to invest or not.
Yeah, a TV series. Oh crap. I made uh, fabric and I wanted fiber. Guess it doesn't hurt to have a bunch of fabric. No, it's not a documentary. It's like reality TV, essentially. This valley is so friendly. Like a warm hug. Real money. You know, like if you have a a business, you know. And you could say, I'd like a million dollars for 5% or 20% or whatever. And and then basically they'll say, oh, okay, that sounds good. Dragon's Den is similar. And, uh, and then if they uh, invest in it, they help them out with their business, grow their business. And, uh, or they tell them to take a walk. They just, they're not interested. So, for example, one of the ones they took told that they weren't interested in was the guy who made Ring, which is like a camera for your doorbell. Um, they they actually didn't invest in that. Well, I think one of them made an offer, and then they they it wasn't they accepted. Um. But uh, they, one of them made an offer, wasn't accepted. And had they actually got in on that one, they would have been big money for them because uh, Ring actually wound up getting sold to Amazon in the end, right? I think it was. And then uh, for, they would have made billions of dollars. Usually stay at one of the Patriots old, old hotels before they built theirs. Oh, nice. Are you talking about the, like the football team Patriots? Being here is almost as good as playtime. I think I got a tulip lamp photo of that. There, we can leave these decorations up till tomorrow. You're 25 minutes from the stadium. Oh, okay. You ever see Tom Brady out and about? Doing some shopping or something? Yeah, I heard that from somebody like when I was in New Orleans that, you know, that it'd be good to go to a football game there because it'd be pretty exciting, you know, pretty, pretty big football area, you know, but well, I didn't really have time to, but uh, I'm sure that would have been cool to catch in the pro game, uh, NBA as well would be cool. Once you did, you did, eh? Nice. Maverick will probably ask who Tom Brady is now. I guess when you're not too far from the place where they play, you know, they might, you might run into them. Oh, you heard of Tom Brady, eh? What team does he play for? What? 
Then I gotta build this balloon arch with ridiculous requirements on it. It's that one. I still need 12 more. You don't know the mechanics. You like basketball? Didn't Tom Brady retire again? He had like, he got killed in the Super Bowl. <laughs> He retired after that. I don't really follow NFL to that close, to be honest. You like basketball, eh? Well, what's your favorite NBA team there, Maverick? I think Tom Brady did get divorced. Married to football, that guy. LeBron? You think basketball is exciting? Or do you just know the names? Retired this year. Tree's still growing. Esto is asking about this tree. You're supposed to put it near this pond. Raining. You think pouring water on these mushrooms, if that wrecks them, that the rain would wreck them, eh?
Eric puts a little sad face. Poor Tom. You know, if Tom gave you the money from one of his games, his earnings there, you'd be set, Maverick. Your mom met Kobe Bryant. Didn't even know it. it was him at the time. He came into her store Christmas tree shop. There you go, eh? They probably like it when people don't recognize them every time, too. Get treated normally for five minutes, you know? Doesn't follow sports. Some of those guys, you don't have to follow sports to recognize them, though. Hope he was pretty big. I uh, ran across one basketball player, NBA player. Uh, BC boy. Um, and just how tall he was was just incredible. And you can kind of guess. Sometimes, you know. I remember one time I was in West Hampton Mall. And I saw like LA Guns was there. I knew it was LA Guns, but 
I wasn't an LA Guns fan, so I couldn't have told you told you an LA Gun from one of their roadies. So it's like, uh, I didn't bother asking for any kind of autographs or anything. I went to an ACDC concert there and, uh, um, they were the openers. Tony Stewart at your local ball track one year. Nice. Your ex went to King Richard's Fair. Met Steven Tyler and his two daughters. They say Steven Tyler was pretty nice. Some of those celebrities, you don't want to meet them. I told Stephanie this before. But sometimes it's a better idea to not meet your heroes. Um, you know, because they can turn in, they could be jerks. I met this one rapper one time that I thought was pretty good. Um, and the guy didn't want to want, you know, he was so rude. It was ridiculous. I wasn't like. You know, like, I just, you know, waited patiently and asked for a photo, but the, uh, you know, like, some, some people go nuts and they act bananas. I wasn't acting bananas or anything. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Well, thank you for liking. His band members was born in Mendentown. He lived in, they stayed there every time they were born in, or they were in the area. Oh, okay. man You seen his limo driving around? Clean up some of this wood, eh? That it just doesn't pop right back.
Guess Maverick must have took off there. He's all quiet. Are you a big Aerosmith fan? I don't mind them. Don't want to miss a thing. Is that the song of Armageddon? Swamp tree. get it too shadowy but a couple swamp trees are okay this little green speckles about give goofy some shade you know I already generated some wood Must have been the alligator I visited with before. I don't have any lobster on me though. Unraining.
Gotta get that orange one. Finally got sunstone charred. Nice. There's some quests that are kind of a pain in the butt that way. I have a lobster. What boobab tree? You're waiting to hear moderating tonight. Told them to take uh, both have stomach virus. Yeah, you don't want to have to work if uh, you're not feeling good, right? Kick back and relax kind of thing. Facebook, you don't totally need moderators anyway. Most time people are pretty good, I think. Well, I suppose it depends how busy things are. Alexa, turn off the heater. There were so many nice people here. It was on, but just make sure. Oh, they're sick. Oh, okay. I think mean, you're sick. Science infection gone. Well, that's good. Why doesn't purple impatience 
Transfer. I don't have any. Here. A little bug there, eh? I can't remember where I put coffee. Moved it somewhere. Maybe it's in here. I can put vaults in there. I know, eh? I don't like going into the house, though. Extra loading time. All about efficiency. I don't go in very often. I originally started with some storage inside and I moved it all outside. Flowers should take a long time to generate, eh? That fox was a flower for a second. I have ten floors of emptiness. I think like an animal crossing, they don't ask to take you you to take them to their house and then they refuse to leave
Had some pine beetle come through here. Now it seems like more like BC. Dead pine trees. Funny that they have a dead pine tree, but I don't think they actually have a pine tree. No pine tree, eh? On season? Pine trees are ever bearing or whatever they're called. They don't uh, get in and out of season. They have them needles all year round. Very least look like the fur here. I think the reason it's dead is because uh, it was from the, uh, the this area here over here, Forgotten Lands. They're deciduous. Is that the name? That's the name. But you'd think they'd have, because it, you know, it's just an, uh, pre-made item, so. I think they'd have a one with leaf or not leaves, needles on it. Kind of went through a phase of putting all those plaza trees everywhere and I'm slowly kind of taking them out and putting a couple of trees back in from that area. You're still here. Holy crap. I think Maverick left. Rich, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. shadow of the ferris wheel, eh? Did you unlock your new shovels yet, Stephanie?
Mushrooms don't give you a whole lot of energy, do they? Ah, wonder what's for breakfast. I haven't seen a lot of grubs around. We're in the lion park. They're hungry. Oh, I wonder if anyone here has a gizmo or a Do 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 do. Them flowers, this Y button is fantastic. Pick up the eggs. That dude's still following me. I think he stopped following me. Sometimes they unfollow you. The character will grab them again. The other lion is sleeping. Hang out. Got our crops. Ooh, ah, very nice.
Oh crap. I missed. Oh, missed again. And they got a lot of fish in this area. I think I've caught hundreds of them. If we go to a beach, we get some sand, eh? as many eggs around. Is there anything in Ursula's cave these days for eggs? There's a big store of eggs. Grocery store. Like anything. ERB. And it gets everywhere. Went to Bed Bath and Beyond today. Very cleaned out that place. I remember what that even does, that embark. Let's go.
Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. You had a good time. You finished that quest? Nice! So they got back to you? Did they tell you a way around it or what? Gotta fill us in here. So here you're doing your room. Esther's always up to something. Thirty one days. What are you doing to your room? I caught a lobster. And the alligators I saw, they are pretty much like those. They were pretty excited about a marshmallow. Oh yeah, organizing, putting stuff away. Nice, it's always good. You tidy it up, eh? You know that Xbox mini fridge I had? I sold it for 10 bucks because it stopped working. I looked up, you know, and you could solder it and fix it and stuff like that, but it, I don't think it was worth the trouble. So the guy that bought it off me was pretty happy that he got an Xbox fridge for 10 bucks. Welcome back. If I got any additional ones, eh? Sunbirds. Mostly squirrels, a couple bunnies. Change to a scary squirrel for a while. Lots of wood.
You put it in your meadow? Nice. So what, what went on with your uh, thing? You said they fixed it. How did they fix it? Did they tell you a workaround or... Or what happened exactly? You got Dumbo the Flying Elephant. Nice. You're talking about the, the ride, I'm assuming, right? You forgot to water the tomatoes twice? Was that was what the problem was? There's one wheat from. I think I'm good for garlic. Here, though. Mushrooms are good. I was just kind of like waiting for you to water. Well, I bet you the support runs into that. How'd they figure that out though? Do they... Can they look at your account somehow? Or did they just look at this, look at that? Or how did they go about resolving that? Flowers are rare up here, eh? You're ready to restart your whole game over that, too. You're glad you didn't. imagine and you realize that after you restart Magical squirrel. Wonder if Stephanie managed to catch her uh, alligator. Now, this is a great day to play outside.
Oh, so you gave up for the night? I just caught a raccoon the same way that you would do the alligator. Yeah, when you send them a ticket, they ask for in-game user ID. And they ask the what it did, you told them, and so instead of restarting the quest, they told me to check the plants. Oh, okay. So they'd probably be able to restart Start the quest for you if you needed, but that's well, good. You didn't have to wait too long either for them to actually look at it, too, eh? Timothy had a weird bug. Um, uh, he he was crashing or something when he was uh, going into Wally's world, and he had to figure out a way around that. Like it wouldn't let him do nothing inside Wally's world. You spent a whole hour, maybe 90 minutes, just switching and moving your chest from kitchen into the spare rooms. I was like, well, that happened. Yeah, I put mine all outside because I didn't want to have to go into the house. I very rarely go into the house. I got 10 floors of empty, empty rooms. Have like something on like I don't know one floor floors maybe I don't know if I even did anything in the second floor can't remember Crash? Reconnecting? Oh, maybe we're back again. That was weird. The stop software stopped for a second. Am I live? Must be. Weird. I think you lost signal maybe, eh, for a second there? Because it said it was connecting connect stream software, so must have lost its connection somehow. What quest are you doing that you have to catch or uh, eat an alligator, Stephanie? And I don't think that's required anywhere. I mean, there's that one eating quest, but I mean, you could pick anything. Pick up, pick the easier one. 
basically it was what five animals you could feed two squirrels pick do five star meals go get some crows pretty easy and uh And the turtles. You're looking for softwood. Softwood's the, the one that's most common. That's everywhere. Weird. You get dark wood out of it. Hold up. You could also bust up some of those mushroom log things too. That'll give you softwood. There's lots of softwood for me. With the Easter, you can like cuddle your bunny too, can't you? You're doing it to try to get more dream shards. Well, you can work around it though. I mean, the easiest way to get dream shards is just um, and you could do dreamlight valleys, like you know, feed a critter, but there's like five of them. But, you know, even if you just do fishing and crap like that, there's... Well, I guess you're doing the foraging one, but... I mean, you could do all sorts of things. Eating meals, catching fish. Catching fish is give, gives me a lot of dream wood, or dream... Dream, uh... Dream shards. Not these ones. Well, if you go in here, if you got any pink, sure you click on it, you know, throughout the whole thing here. Because, uh, you click on those, those give you hundreds and hundreds of them. These are 500. From buying seeds and crap. Yeah, I can buy seeds. I'm pretty close in that one. I should go buy 21 or 20 seeds from the Forest of Valor, eh? Oh, the ones you pick up? Oh, okay. Yeah, if you do these activities here under Dreamlight, and you make sure you, you know, you click on them when they're pink. You know, when they're done or whatever. Uh, that gives you tons and tons and tons of uh, dream light. That's the, or dream shards. Or no, the dream shards, yeah, I guess if you need the shards for quest or something, that might be different. Still, I mean, there's got to be other ways to get um, things, unless it's a drag quest. Good boy. You watch this.
500. I gotta unlock the next area almost. Made 40 seeds from Frosted Heights. I'm doing this frustrating collect the flowers quest indirectly like the flowers quest leave me this is a grind to do this quest Esther's doing it too and she's finding it's a grind too I bet I need about 40 seeds from here. How close are you? How's it going? These are ever really in demand. Cucumbers instead. Whoa -ho! Whoa -ho! See you later. Oh no, it's 400 seeds away. What a rip. Or wait. 645 minus 288. So 312, 357. 357 seeds away. Way to trust, I apparently don't buy a lot of seeds from. I think 645 is the last one though. Everybody just buys hundreds and hundreds of pumpkins. I already have hundreds of those.
Sounds like Merlin's going crazy. Good to see you. All these seeds are just bought. Twenty five bucks. I spend hundreds on that. Seeds aren't worth very much when you sell them, eh? Home stretch for both of those. Well, you're not even needing the black ones anymore. Black ones are the ones I'm struggling with. I need 11 more.
Take a break, have my dinner. I planted carrots, lettuce, tomato, wheat, corn, etc., etc. What's happening? I'm going to eat and lurk here. Starving, you need the foods. You got to get that blood sugar back up to par, you know? Some food in you. My controller died. And you know you've been tending the crops pretty hard, you know? Steak with mustard, pickles, tinned tomatoes, scrambled eggs, and hot fries with a baconator sauce. What's a baconator sauce? I don't know what they put on those. I know Thousand Islands is the one for A&W. The Mott's Burgers. Wally's garden for him, eh? The robot, he doesn't eat. Yeah, this is how you get dream light tokens a lot. You wander around and you dig these little things up. They give you a lot of the dream light pieces and the dark dream light as well. Bacon mayo. Eats ketchup. You now when I went to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant in uh, Vegas, Gordon Ramsay Burger, they had like hey, special. I bet your first friend was a toy. Am I right? Special um, ketchup. They didn't have normal ketchup at all. Something added to it. Flowers out and about, eh? Say like, hey! Bet your first toy or your first friend was a toy. Sure, you always grab these blue chests every day, Stephanie. They're moonstones.
guess I got a lot of those. You later. That crowd's doing good. These black uh, flowers up here are like gold, and you have to pick everything because they're all red, showing as red right now. Get any. Well, that's as good a spot as any, I guess. Wrap up for the night. I got to work tomorrow. It was good to be good and awake at work, you know. Thank you for whatever role you played today. Those who shared, much appreciated. Chatted and liked and uh, participated in the poll. Thank you so much. Recent chatters was uh, Birdie, Esta... Stephanie, you're, uh, don't forget to check out my YouTube if you're interested in checking out uh, past streams. I have full past streams as well as uh, we're just into The Last of Us 2 now there. And uh, tips as well as shorts from Vegas and uh, New Orleans from those trips. You uh, curious about the poll? Do you like balloon arches? 100% said yes. Good. People like balloon arches. I don't like collecting the materials for them particularly much. There you go. Have a good night. Thanks for being here.